I had that condo on the beach. 15th floor, marble everything overlooking the whole bay. First night out of jail, I slept in my own bed. Day two, I was back in business. Same old life. But it, it doesn't feel right. Not the drugs, not the hookers. But damn it, if I didn't keep trying. <laughs> So, one night, I'm leaving a bar all jacked up on coca, and I notice this young girl on the corner, fine looking, maybe 20, 25. Take her up to my place, we do the deed, pay the bill. She's putting on her shoes, and I notice something. I notice her foot. She's got these little pink cat faces painted on her toenails. And it hit me. She's not 25. And she glances up and her eyes connect. And it was like I was granted a glimpse into her soul. And all I saw with sadness. I don't know where she starts talking. Turns out she's not 25, not even 20. This girl is 14 years old to Mateo. She's been doing it since she was six. Looks at me, smiles, takes the money, walks out the door. All of a sudden, I'm hit by this tidal wave, this tsunami of darkness. And I know I'm the sadness in her eyes. Me, I'm the darkness. And I know the darkness has to die. So I get my 45. Put it to my head. Put my finger on the trigger. Now, if there is a time to ask if God exists, that would be it. So I did. God tells you what to do.